Previously, we have learned that the differential equations are usually linear. However, there are situations when we have differential equations that are nonlinear. So, how we can deal with such nonlinear equations is something we are going to do today. Actually, the first type uh, the uh, of the method is to be discussed in this video. There are basically three methods of dealing with the um, nonlinear differential equations in which the dependent variable has a power other than or greater than 1. So, in this case, there are three methods out of which the first one is exact differential equations. The second method is the separable variables method and the third one is Bernoulli's equation method. We will solve uh, with the first uh, method, we will develop its condition and then we will see how we can solve it in the next part of the video. We want to solve uh, and linearize the differential equation. An exact differential equation can be either linear or nonlinear by itself. So, we might have uh, an exact differential equation which might not be nonlinear, that is, that might be linear, but we can remember that an exact differential equation has its own properties and it can be in a nonlinear form which we are trying to deal with here, but there is a possibility that it is linear which is something that uh, is unexpected here. So, we are focusing on the nonlinear version of the exact differential equations. So, what are these exact differential equations? For example, if we have such a function in which uh, there is a function in terms of y and t. There are two independent variables and if we bring them on the left hand side as you can see uh, only a constant will be left on the right hand side because we have brought all the independent variables on the left hand side. So, only a constant can be left on the right hand side can be 0 or any other variable and if I take its total differential d will be introduced on both sides and uh, the total differential formula is something you need to recall from your mathematics language which is pre-existing. In this case, the total differential formula and the differential of a constant will be 0. So, left hand side is something you need to recall using that formula, whereas the right hand side is simply the uh, differential of a constant which is 0. So, this is the explanation that I have just told you about this last step. And in details, in, in, in a uh, detailed way, you can say that this is the left hand side which is actually the total differential of the given function which was this, whereas the right hand side was the differential of a constant. So, labeling whatever we have said before, interpretation is the same that um, this if this is a function in which all the independent variables are on the left hand side. Uh, it is going to be an exact differential equation uh, as if it satisfies the condition. The uh, condition is that the total differential is equal to 0 or in other words the total differential is exactly equal to 0. Hence, we call it a, an exact differential equation. So, there is a test of checking if it is actually an exact differential equation and we are going to develop this test. So, in order to develop this test, if a differential equation is an exact differential equation, uh, we are going to consider this function which we have already considered before. Its differential will be equal to 0 as on right hand side there is a constant, the differential of which will be 0 and on left hand side the formula will be written as we wrote it before, 0 is carried as it was. Now, these two derivatives are in our site and we can name them uh, as these are the most important uh, derivatives in the process. As it is written here that these will be given in every specific form of exact differential equation. So, this is the given data in the exact differential equation EDE. So, we should be focused on them and we can give them some names and on the basis of these two given derivatives we can develop the condition. 
uh, Young theorem is something that we can use to develop this condition. You know that uh, Young theorem states this that the order of the independent variable res with respect to which we are differentiating does not matter in case of the cross partial derivatives. So, this is up to you to recall how we handle this. This is uh, Young's theorem and we can write it in an expanded way um, uh, you know derivative of x f of f with respect to y and then with respect to x reversing the order derivative of x with respect to x and then with respect to y will be equal it is just like 2 into 3 is equal to 3 into 2 just giving you a simile it is not exactly the same thing it is a product and this is differentiation so uh, in this case, we have variables uh, y and t, not x and y. So, we have transformed the, the Young's theorem accordingly and uh, the expanded form of Young's theorem will be like this. We are focusing on these boxed terms because these are the terms that were there in the beginning and these will be among the given data. So, we can focus on these and give them some certain names. So, we called delta f over delta y as m and delta f over delta t as n. Both of them are the derivatives of f respe respectively with respect to y and t. So, um, Young's theorem was this as we just understood. In the Young's theorem and in the exact differential equation, we will introduce these uh, notations of m and n because delta f over delta y is present in the Young's theorem that we just discussed here. This was Young's theorem and delta f over delta t was also there. So, we can uh, substitute m and n in their place and the formula will change to this. So, this is that condition that we were looking for. Whereas, in the exact differential equation that we developed uh, in the beginning, this equation, borrowing this equation and trying to um, substitute m and n in it, you can see that delta f over delta y, it is present. So, it is equal to m as per our supposition and delta f over delta t is also there which is n as per our supposition. So, we can write this equation in a normal way instead of the uh, individual boxes and we have another uh, specific result. Now, we can interpret these results. Uh, following Young's theorem, the exactness test is developed for exact differential equations. So, we can apply this test to see if the given equation is exact differential equation and the exact differential equation will appear in this form. This is the exact differential form is modeled for exactness test. It is uh, turned into or converted into uh, a form which is adjacent with the Young theorem because you can see both of them have m and n in them. So, it is easy to test an exact differential equation E d e by using this test which is this. This is the test. So, side by side we have developed two things that are connected and they are connected by m and n. So, we have developed the condition of the exactness. It is known as the exactness test condition as it is written here exactness test. It will be better understood if we take a numerical example. So, remembering these two equations, let us go ahead towards a numerical example. Uh, so, this is this numerical that we are talking about. This is the given differential equation and it is in that standard form. Let us write the standard form of the exact differential equation which is this and when we compare it, we get the value of m and n. So, we have noted the value of m and n and then we have called upon the exactness test which was based upon the Young's theorem. So, now you see both of the things getting used. This was the 
standard form of EDE that we developed in that table and this is the test that we developed, the exactness test. So, both of them are getting employed here. So, EDE say we have borrowed the um, values of M and N and here we are putting those values in the exactness test. So, simply the values of M and N they have been substituted. We can take this derivative easily the partial derivative and the answer would be this. So, the equality is established and it means that the uh, uh, you know exactness test is satisfied and this given differential equation is an exact differential equation which we wanted to see that if the given differential equation is an exact differential equation or not. So, this uh, differential equation is found to be exact differential equation. However, this is the test that tells us if it is an exact differential equation, but we have not solved it. To solve it, we have a certain procedure that we will do in the next part of this video. Thank you.